Hello mathematicians, it's Mrs. Estepa here. I'm going to be going over some reasoning strategies that you can use to help you compare fractions. You do not need to memorize any procedures, you just need to have a good understanding about what size fractions are. Um, these slides are focusing on comparing fractions that are less than or equal to one whole using reasoning strategies like like numerators, like denominators, comparing to half and a unit fraction away from the whole. And on these slides, you have models available so that you can develop your thinking. And the more you practice, the less you will need the models. So let's take a look at our first example here. I see that I have two fractions with like numerators. Since I have a 2 in the numerator of both of these fractions, that means that those numerators are alike or the same. The numerators tell me how many pieces I have. So I have 2 sixths here, and I have 2 fourths here. So I can even go ahead and drag over the names of these fractions before I begin. 2 sixths, and I'm comparing it to 2 fourths. Now I'm going to make a model to show my reasoning on this. With 2 sixths, I'm going to use the blue. I'm going to drag this down until I find the bar that has sixths or six equal parts because remember that denominator tells me how many parts make one whole and it also gives me information about the size of those units. Sixths are going to be smaller than fourths because I've cut that whole up more times. This would be one sixth. This would be two sixths. So I'm comparing that to a fraction of two fourths. I'm going to use the red to model two fourths. I'm going to find the bar that has fourths or four equal parts. This would be one fourth. This would be two fourths. I can actually notice that two fourths is equivalent to a half here. Once I get here, I can use my understanding of unit fractions to help me compare these fractions. Since I have the same number of both pieces, if I understand that one-fourth is larger than one-sixth because I've cut the whole less times, then I already know and I can see that two-fourths is going to be greater than two-sixths because fourths are greater than sixths. So I'm going to use this G here to put over my greater fraction of two-fourths. So I'm going to use the L to drag over my lesser fraction or my fraction that is worth the least, which would be two-sixths. And then I can read from left to right. Two-sixths is less than two-fourths. I can bring over my words here. And then finally, my inequality symbol. If two-sixths is less than, then I know my opening is going to be facing two-fourths because that larger opening faces the larger fraction. So that's an example of comparing fractions with like numerators. For this next one, I'm going to be modeling how I can compare fractions that have like denominators. I'm going to use a number line model for this one. As you can see, my numerators are different. So on 2 sixths, I only have two pieces, and the pieces are both sixths. And on the second fraction, 4 sixths, I have four pieces. I have a different number of pieces this time, but the pieces are the same size. Both of them are sixths. So first I'm going to model two sixths, and I'm going to use that with this blue piece. I'm going to find the number line that is partitioned or broken up into six equal parts. I'm going to put this right on the top. So do you see the six equal parts? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. This would be one sixth, two sixths. Now I'm going to model 4 6 with the red. I'm still going to use the same number line because I still need 6. I'm just going to put the red on the bottom. This would be 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6. So I can see that since they're both the same size pieces, they're both 6. Since I, 4 is more or greater than 2, 4 6 is greater than 2 6. When I read from right to left, I can see that 2 6 is less than 4 6. And I can bring over my appropriate inequality symbol here. That's how you do like denominator.